Every year, thousands of U.S. citizens work as interns, and the majority of them don't receive any payment. The lack of workplaces offering good pay forces both new graduates and students to find an internship in order to obtain working experience. According to most recent statistics by the National Association of Colleges and Employers, nearly 2 million citizens work as interns, a figure that has increased in the last 20 years. This also means that many companies are using the internships to save money from hiring new employees. For more, I invite you to watch the following report from Clara Ibarra and Maria Brick. Employers in the United States are saving an estimate $2 billion a year by hiring interns. Some of the largest and most profitable corporations in the country are being accused of illegally exploiting unpaid interns. You look at certain fields like um, film, entertainment, uh, uh, publishing, fashion, media, politics, and these are crucial fields, fields that have a big uh, cultural impact, that have a large influence on American society, uh, are particularly notorious for their use of interns. And in these fields, um, unpaid interns are the norm rather than, rather than and paid is abnormal. Uh, and it's, it's normal that you'll have to do many internships before you'll have a, you would even have a chance of, uh, of getting any kind of job. These are not fields which were famous for being racially and socioeconomically diverse to begin with, uh, but what this does is it kind of reinforces the, the lack of diversity in these fields, the lack of, of voices that we hear. After I graduated from my master's in 2012, it was extremely hard to find a job. When you're creating unpaid internships, you're automatically excluding people who can't afford to work for free. So it becomes a class issue by that alone, but then it also becomes a race, race issue because m much of the people who are in low-income communities are people of color or working-class immigrants, undocumented immigrants. It really speaks to the system that fosters a higher class of people to be in the workforce. It's no surprise that the, the rise of internships has coincided with some of the highest levels of youth unemployment that we have on record. My name's Anwar and I graduated from college last year, but I've been applying to jobs and internships and journalism for months now. I think internships are largely symbolic of an expansion of precarious and underpaid uh, work in the country in general and I think if you look across the labor market no matter what people are trying to do it's harder to get a job you have to jump through more hurdles to do it um, and you are increasingly can't really expect to be paid well or make a decent living for yourself. Uh, we currently have lawsuits against uh, Fox, the Hearst Corporation, um, Condé Nast Publications, NBC Universal. And what we're finding is that um, increasingly employers are using interns to do real work in the workplace um, but are designating them as not covered by the labor laws and so they're not paying them any wages or in some cases are paying them sub-minimum wages. Much of the work now being done by unpaid interns used to be full-time salary positions. This is Clara Ibarra with Maria Vic, Telesur, New York.